emotional send-off for Bansdi Opande. Soka star Ricardo Drew laid to rest and experts say more than divine intervention is needed to fight crime in Tobago. Good evening, I'm Patricia Nicholson-Richards. This is your Tobago Updates television news for Tuesday 9th January 2024. Topping the news this evening, former Prime Minister Baz Diopandi was cremated today following an emotional ceremony at the Southern Academy for Performing Arts, SAPA. Pandey is the first dignitary to be afforded a state funeral under full Hindu rites. Reporter Candace Jackson has the details in this story. As unprecedented as he was in life, so was he in death. Former Prime Minister Basdeo Pande became the first Prime Minister to be afforded a state funeral under full Hindu rites. Upon arriving at Sapa with a military procession, Pande's family ceremoniously placed a broken mala on his body, symbolizing that he was no longer part of this life. They then performed the arti, an offering of light which represented the preparation of a soul to be reincarnated into the next life according to Hindu beliefs. What followed was a short message from the Pandit with a solemn service reflecting on Mr. Pandey's life with a few short tributes, starting with his brother Shubhas Pandey. He spoke of his kind-hearted nature, a man who was always willing to help even on his deathbed. He said, my grandmother had given me a small piece of land in St. Julian village, same village, and he won't to donate and give that to the poor, especially battered women and helpless, homeless children. His son-in-law, Daniel Tarlow, shared three life lessons learned from Mr. Pandey that others should emulate. One, love people and know what's right. Not for show or when others are watching or when it's convenient. It needs to be inseparable from your sense of who you are. Two, do the hard work and do it properly. For this, there's no shortcuts and there's no excuses. And three, if you've done the first two, then you must fight. You can be like Bass and fight with humor and wit and charisma, or fight in whatever way works for you. President Carla Kangaloo also gave a heartfelt tribute to a man who she worked with on different sides of the political divide. We can believe in vastly different things, yet be civil to each other. We can hold widely divergent views on what is good and right for our country, yet treat each other with respect and compassion. We can be fundamentally opposed to each other ideologically, yet remain courteous and gracious to one another. In an emotional eulogy for her father, Michaela Pande praised him as a man who loved life, believed in equality for all people, a visionary, and a tender-hearted parent. He taught us that it is not always about being the best, but about doing your best. And while he taught us to be focused, he also taught us the importance of having a sense of humor. Following a soulful rendition of Frank Sinatra's I Did It My Way from Cass Defentala. I did it my way. Yes, there were times I'm sure you do when I beat off more than I can chew. But through it all. I ate it up and spit it out I faced it all and I stood tall And did it my way I've loved, I've laughed and cried a military procession took Mr. Pandey's body from Sapa to the Shores of Peace cremation site at Mosquito Creek. After performing the ritualistic five stops before arriving at the pyre, Pandey's family prepared the body and performed the final rites. He was then placed in the pyre and symbolically released to be reincarnated into his next life. Candace Jackson, Tobago Updates Television News. 
At Basia Pandey's funeral, many government officials were present, including President Christine Kangalu, who gave a tribute. She recounted some memories of Mr. Pandey and shared some words of appreciation for what he has done for the country. Here's more. President Christine Carla Kangaroo said Trinidad and Tobago did not just lose its fifth prime minister, but one of its largest and most colorful figures in the modern history of the Caribbean. She shared a memory that she had of meeting Basdeo Pandey at a family gathering in 1984, where her father invited some friends over. Basdeo Pandey was among those friends. What most impressed me about him that evening was not his legendary charm or his delightful wit, what struck me the most about him was that he was a man completely and utterly in love with life. President Kangalu also recalled her interaction with Pandey at her presidential inauguration. He locked his eyes with mine and disarmed me completely with the words, congratulations, that was an excellent speech. Having got me where he wanted me, he then said, I'm afraid to tell you though that you will get nothing done. She continued that Basdeo Pandey was tenacious where constitutional reform was concerned, comparing him to a boa constrictor in his grip. President Kangaroo noted his unwavering advocacy for changing the way the country is governed and attributed his success to never giving up. It is to give thanks on behalf of a grateful nation for Basdeo Pandey's service to Trinidad and Tobago and by extension to the Caribbean and to the international community. And where Basdio Pandey is concerned, there is much to be thankful for. On behalf of the nation, President Kangalu thanked Pandey for providing an example of grit and determination to the country and hopes those qualities inspire everyone to rise beyond circumstances and defeat obstacles for a better tomorrow. Ariana Sipio, Tobago Update Television News. Coming up next, experts say more than divine intervention is needed to fight crime in Tobago. The details after this. As you come, come in, come in. Long time I see you, Jill. Eh, this station complete. Already <laughs> ready for children party. Tommy! Jill, you can't go nowhere with these children. And you know you can't depend on Kevin neither. See what to see what else. Yeah. Total waste. So I supposed to stay on whole time? <laughs> Jada is 12. She could see about that. You just leave Jada to see about Kia and Kayla. I thought it was your mother or your sister. Who? Them always busy. Jada could handle that. She cooking and cleaning a long time. And the next two, better know what time it is. It's only me, you know. I will talk to my mother. She just home these days. She will make sure the children are okay. Alright, alright. Let me see the moves for later. Before you ramage, make sure the children are okay. Call 996 to report all child abuse now. A message from the Children's Authority of Trinidad and Tobago. Yo everyone, it's your boy Harry here from Authentic Builders General Hardware, located right here in Stobe Local Road, Tobago. That's correct, right here in Tobago. And we are offering you guys the best prices on all hardware material. And if you would like to get your free quotation done, all you have to do is WhatsApp us at 272-1990 and we will give you guys the best prices on all hardware material. That is a guarantee as we are matching or beating any quotations. Thank you so much for staying with us. And now to this. Former PNM Finance Minister Karen Nunez Teixeira stormed her way into Basio Pandey's funeral. She and former Senate President Timothy Hamill Smith jumped over the railing at Sapa to make their way into the service. Nunez Teixeira said that she was trying to get mi the Minister of Foreign Affairs and CARICOM, Amory Brong's attention since she and the former Senate President were not invited. In response to her storming the funeral, Brown said her actions were unbecoming 
unseemly, unfortunate and disappointing. The former finance minister has become a laughing stock on social media as a number of memes were created from a photo of her jumping the fence. Well, in a solemn and emotional gathering today, friends, family and the Caribbean at large came together to say their last goodbyes to the late soccer icon Ricardo Drew as his funeral unfolded, leaving a profound impact on those who cherished his musical legacy. Trevisa Phillips has more. Ricardo Drew's funeral service began with a moving musical tribute, setting the tone for a ceremony that celebrated not only his musical contributions, but also the profound impact he had on the Caribbean music industry. Ambassador Elizabeth McCool, chairman of the Antigua and Barbuda Festivals Commission, took the podium acknowledging Drew's influential role in shaping the soca music landscape. Ricardo's influence extends beyond himself. He played a pivotal role in shaping the landscape of soca music and stages and stage shows, leaving an indelible mark on a generation of emerging artists. For many, Tuesday will forever be Drew's Day, a testament that he stamped his name on carnival celebrations. Teddy St. John, St. Lucian's soca star, delivered a tearful tribute urging unity in the soca industry and emphasizing the importance of maintaining a strong brotherhood. Drew um, was one of the most down to earth, like humble person, somebody that you could really, you know, come talk to. Bro, I understood what you wanted to do. I understood the mission. I understood how you wanted to and how you placed Antigua and Barbuda on the map where music is concerned. Skinny Fabulous shared a heartfelt reflection on his last moments with Drew. Now, Drew had a remarkable way of picking up on energy and knowing exactly when he needed to be a friend. He would say random things to me in random times. But what was scary about Drew's random phone calls and random advice was that he was always spot on in saying the things that I needed to hear. Drew's eldest three sons shared touching memories. His first son expressed gratitude for his father's influence on his love for basketball. His second son reflected on Drew's motivational spirit, and his third son highlighted Drew's inspirational presence, noting his father's unwavering support during challenging times. As Ricardo Drew was laid to rest, his impact on the soca world and the memories he created will undoubtedly live on. The funeral served as a poignant moment of reflection and unity, emphasizing the enduring legacy of this beloved artist. Police Commissioner Ella Christopher is receiving heavy criticism for saying divine intervention is needed to curb crime. Experts are weighing in on the topic and believe there are practical solutions which can be applied. More in this report. Divine intervention is not the answer for Trinidad and Tobago to experience a turnaround of the rise in violent crime situation. Former Commissioner of Police Gary Griffith argued that more can be done. The technology is there, the things are there, the things that would, would have been done three years ago that peg back. What is it? Is it that God was there in up until August 2021 and then he left on vacation and he left Trinidad and Tobago? The divine intervention was already there. Griffith called on the relevant authorities to revisit some of the strategies he employed during his time as Commissioner of Police. Meanwhile, Chief Technical Advisor in the Division of Finance, Trade and the Economy, Ansem Richards, noted that the borders need to be properly monitored to minimize the influx of illegal firearms. And given the, the relationship between Trinidad and Tobago, the porous nature of our borders, the, the heavy traffic between Trinidad and Tobago, and the very lax security arrangement at our port of entry, it was inevitable that that crime situation will migrate to Tobago. However, one of the more effective methods in mitigating criminal behavior is ensuring that young people do not find it attractive. Tobago Tutor Officer Braden Roberts suggested that the Tobago-centric curriculum, currently in the embryo stage of development, could be what is needed for students who are not excelling in the traditional form of education. 
if we make it meaningful, we get a better opportunity to grasp these children's attention. Their attention is not an education, so that's why they are easily distracted into the tuning bad music. They want to prove to their peers that they can be bad too. And it's not easy for a parent having tried their best and the children are exposed to the elements that is more captivating than the education curriculum. And it's a task keeping these children on the streets alive. A Tobago-centric curriculum is one of the campaign promises of the current administration. The Division of Education, Research and Technology recently issued a call to stakeholders interested in developing the curriculum. No timeline has been set for its implementation. Candace Jackson, Tobago Updates, Television News. We'll take a short break and come back with more. Do stay with us. Your destiny. The best way to predict it is to create it. Do you see yourself exploring exotic destinations or spending quality time with family? However you see yourself, create your own retirement destiny with Tata Life's Destiny Personal Savings Booster. Choose from one of three investment options with guaranteed minimum investment returns to secure a monthly retirement income for life with the option to choose your retirement age. So what's your retirement destiny? Call 62TATIL or visit tatil.co.tt to learn more today. Conditions apply. Tatil Life, a member of the Ansel McCall Group. Tobago Glass Supplies has been a leading name for over 37 years in the glass and aluminum market in Tobago. We provide an extensive range of high quality innovative aluminum and glass products for commercial and residential use. Competitive prices with superior and professional services by committed employees who are guided by rigid quality standards. Tobago Glass Supplies specializes in the manufacture and installation of glass and aluminum products products that are essential to today's homeowners and the business environment. We are engaged in marketing, sales and installation of a variety of products. These ranges from windows and doors to necessities such as mirrors for homes and vehicles, designed and manufactured in-house or imported. This is Harry here from Authentic Car Clinic, located right here in Tobago at Storbay Local Road. You can WhatsApp us or call us at 366 4173. It's gonna go Thanks for staying with us. The Division of Tourism has condemned a media release, which was issued by the PNM Tobago Council yesterday, labeling it as malicious and devoid of the facts. Reporter Tanika Crookshank provides us with further details. This statement by the Division of Tourism claimed that Alicia Edwards stepped down as chairman for personal reasons. However, in what appears to be a copy of her resignation letter, Edwards noted that there were too many issues with the agency that she was no longer willing to deal with. Her resignation became effective on Tuesday, January 2nd, 2024 with immediate effect. 
The release denounced PNM's claims of excessive expenditure and financial redistribution, noting that the budget defects are reality for all government agencies and that they are always handled by rearranging expenditure priorities. Regarding Tobago's relationship with Germany, the division says that TTAL maintains positive connections with destination representatives in the German and British markets, noting that airlift discussions are proceeding according to plan. Several attempts to get a response from Secretary of the Division, Tashia Boris, were unsuccessful. Tanika Krukshank, Tobago Updates Television News. TNTech New Eastside Dimensions, one of the four Tobago bands in the Panorama Small Band Final, will be playing in position number two. This is according to a post <laughs> by Pantron Bagel. The other three Tobago bands will make appearances as follows. Uptown Fascinators in eighth position. First Citizens Tobago Panthers will play in position number 12. And Our Boys will be the 15th and final band to play in the competition. This highly anticipated showdown is scheduled for Friday 12th, 2024 at the Skinner Park, at Skinner Park rather, starting at 7 p.m. Coming up after this break, we'll tell you about some university students who are excited about their internship in Tobago. Stay tuned. At JK Tech, we bring technology to your doorstep. From cutting edge laptops to reliable printers, we've got it all. Nationwide delivery and a new website for easy online ordering. JK Tech is your one stop shop for your electronics and computer needs. Carrying top brands such as Acer, Samsung, HP, and much more. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at JKTechTT or visit JKTechTT.com. Quality Tech is just a click away. JK Tech, evaluate your shopping experience, your tech, your way. Call or WhatsApp 383 2651. Shop smart, shop JK Tech. JK Tech. JK Tech. Welcome. Can I have a seat? Oh, this is so stylish and I love the fabric. Darlings, you must tell us where you got your new furnishings. We got them locally at Standard. They've got new chic European furniture, crafted from high quality material. Oh, Standard? No, it's Standard. Their brand new Hive Collection. Experience luxurious European furniture at a price you will love. The Hive Collection. Now, exclusively available at Standard. Rotisserie, mouth watering fries, salads, combos, and specials galore. Feeling for something to eat? Come and see. Our rotisserie is seasoned to the tea. Kicking chicken, masala, and jerk roast. Crispy fries made from scratch. Who do you know can't beat that? Or salads freshly cut and packed. When you taste it, you'll be wanting to come back. So come check us out on number two Robinson Street, Uptown Scarborough, Tobago. We open on Saturday nights from 7:30 to 11:30 p.m. Monday. To Thursday, we're open from 10 a.m. to 9:30 p.m. and on Friday, 10 a.m. to 4:30 p.m. Contact us at 772-7443 and all social media handles at the Rotisserie Factory. On Monday 14th, on Monday rather, 14 students from Pacific Lutheran University in Tacoma, Washington started their almost three-week internship in various divisions of the Division of Health, Wellness and Social Protection. Now reporter Tanika Crookshank has all the details and more. 
in the story. The secretary noted that having completed one of these internships throughout her academic career, she was aware of their value. Dr. Faith B. Israel assured everyone involved will have an enjoyable, rewarding, and instructive experience. Nicola Carrington, the acting manager of the Division's Community Social Services Unit, gave an overview of the Division's services and the units as well as the students' placement. She expressed her excitement about the program's potential for information exchange. PLU student Alison Young's a social work major expressed her excitement about visiting Tobago, citing the island's natural beauty, friendly locals, and strong sense of cultural pride as reasons for her excitement. Ash Bechtel, a biology major at PLU, had similar thoughts, stating that she had studied a lot about Tobago. Thus far, Bechtel has noted that the relaxed attitude in Tobago has caught her attention, as it is not typical in her own country. The internship ends on January 24th, 2024. Tarika Kukshank, Tobago Updates Television News. Now for the weather update from the TND team at office. Tonight, get ready for generally clear and cool conditions with the occasional brisk shower. Temperatures will dip to a comfortable 25 degrees Celsius. Looking ahead to tomorrow, anticipate predominantly sunny and sometimes breezy conditions with the occasional passing shower. It promises to be a generally fair night with temperatures rising to a warmer 32 degrees Celsius and a heat index of 36 degrees. Seas are moderate, occasionally rough in the northeastern areas, particularly Charlotteville to Goodwood, with waves up to 2.5 meters in open waters and below 1.3 meters in sheltered areas. Sunrise is at 6.24 a.m. and the sun bids adieu at 5.55 p.m. Enjoy the weather. And that's how we end this evening's cast. Let's recap the headlines. Emotional send-off for Baz Diopande. Soka star Ricardo Drew is laid to rest. And experts say more than divine intervention is needed to fight crime in Tobago. I'm Patricia Nicholson-Richards thanking you so much for joining us and wishing you a good night.